Alright, we'll do a quick video. First thing we need to do is to download CD Burn XP, which is this little program here. I'll get you a link. I'll put it in the comments of the YouTube video for you so it'll be easier. Find out once you get that, then just install it like normal. I deleted it, it looks like what you just install it. And then of course click run. And since I already have it installed, I'm just gonna click cancel. So that will be in the video description for you, that link there. Then once you get it, you can either insert a CD, have it pop up, or I always prefer just to go open up the CD Burn XP program and choose an audio disc. That's what you want to use for making play in the car. Alright, now we want to go to some music. There's two ways you can do you can browse through here or you can actually browse through your folders and drag and drop. Let's see, these two folders should be the same. I have a lot of music so it's probably nice to inventory all this crap in here. There we go. See you there. And then I have the exact same thing here. You, you can either just open this folder, take these files and drop them down here. Or you can do the same thing here. Take the folder, drop them down. Uh, and it'll do the exact same thing. It'll give you about how much time is on your left is on there. Whenever I want to hit the red. Of course, you know, you can see it's 95 minutes of minutes and it's way gone way over. But once you get all the songs you want, let's just go ahead and say I'm going to burn this pack of disco CD. Do that. You just click the burn button and it'll do it for you. Select your speed, max speed, whatever you want to do. Track pauses and always finalize disk, and then that's it really. Simply use pretty easy and shadow is getting in my way again. That's it. Simple as that, and hopefully that helps you a little bit.